Okay, so for your sources that you need to use to do your research, most of you will use an online source or sources instead of going and finding books and reading books in the library. Most of you will use online sources, which is totally fine. Um, but we need to talk about how to locate credible sources. So what are some credible sources? Anything that ends in .edu is educational, usually through a university, sometimes a high school, but most often through some kind of university or college. So harvard.edu or purdue.edu or you know, University of North Texas will have edu. Also .gov, um, those are government websites and so they will also be credible. So the reason that these things are credible, academics are always going to really try to, uh, if, a if a professor or a university posts something, they will try to be factual and not misrepresent themselves. Also lawsuits, so they're really going to fact check. Fact check. Um, a government saying it's going to really fact check its information before it posts it. Um, another credible source are national publications. Uh, so like magazines, Forbes magazine, you see that for the business class I use a lot of Forbes um, and um, USA Today is a national publication and other national publications will check. Not something like the Inquirer, but like a news source that's national will have editors and that will be their job to, and fact checkers, that will be their job to make sure that everything is factual so that the paper doesn't get sued. Newspapers, all newspapers of um, cities will, will be good sources. What's not a good source are uh, Wikipedia. Why not Wikipedia? Wikipedia is awesome if you're curious about something and you just want to find out a little bit more about it. If you're something you run into that you have no idea what they're talking about, Wikipedia is a great source. But as far as representing that as facts, there's a problem with Wikipedia. And that is that anybody can post in Wikipedia. I can go to the post about Mozart and his life's work and I can just add whatever I want to to that. Now most of the time people don't do this on Wikipedia but you can't be sure. There's no fact checking system so you can't use Wikipedia for a source. You could use it to understand something but don't use it for your source. Don't use it for your speech. Don't use it for a research paper. Um, also, also, often people will start a blog and it will seem, um, credible enough or like a news source enough, but it's not actually a news source. I watched this whole show about this guy who puts on his little suit and tie and then just has like this table with a picture behind it and does like a news reel, like a newscaster, um, video and post it and it really looks like the news. So be careful about your sources. Make sure they're credible. Um, there's this whole debate about fake news right now. There is such thing as fake news. I saw a whole other article with video about this man who writes fake news for a living, for money. And he does that because advertisers will pay him to post on his site and pay him a lot of money for however many hits he gets. So in the last election he wrote a bunch of fake news and people read it and really believed it. So um, CNN, some people call that fake news, but it is a national news source. You may find those kinds of things have uh, a slant one way or the other politically, but in general it's based on facts. So make sure you're based in facts when you're choosing your sources. So. When you use an online source, this is whether you use APA or MLA or whatever, in the bibliography page that's at the end of your speech, you must put the exact URL address. So go up to the top and copy and paste the URL address in your bibliography entry. So put the rest of the entry too.